It's Taylor Alanis here on the Bayfront at the Crime Victims Memorial Garden, where its founder Fallon Wood is visiting her daughter Brianna's plaque mere moments after the last person responsible for her murder was sentenced to years behind bars. Seven years. It's been seven years since Brianna Wood's body was found at a home near Bluntser in a box wrapped in plastic. In seven years, Fallon Wood couldn't talk about what happened to her daughter. On Thursday, the final chapter closed in her case. Sandra Vasquez, the last person awaiting trial in the murder of Wood, was sentenced to prison. Vasquez took a deal pleading guilty to robbery, 15 years, unauthorized use of a motor vehicle, two years, fraudulent use of identifying information, 10 years, and organized criminal activity with the underlying offense of murder, 15 years. But because she is getting credit for time served and her sentences will run concurrently, she will likely spend less than 10 years behind bars. I don't think any plea deal or any anything with her I would have been satisfied with. Someone like her, um, she just she doesn't deserve to be here. She's just she's evil. In her victim impact statement to the court, Fallon faced Vasquez, telling her, "Out of all of them, you are the devil." Vasquez looking at Fallon in the eye with no emotion. In August, Vasquez's co-defendant Joseph Tejeda took a plea deal on murder, burglary with the intent of aggravated robbery, and assault on a public servant charges. Every negative thought put into your head, replace it with a positive one. Brianna's Woods words and also the words that her mom Fallon said today in court talking about even though this horrible tragic thing happened to her daughter, something positive came out of it and that's this entire memorial garden which she says she will continue to maintain and make sure no victim is ever forgotten. On the Bayfront, Taylor Alanis, Chris 6 News.